What do you do with an idea? One day I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered. What do you do with an idea? At first I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it. So I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. But it followed me. I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away. I didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger, and we became friends. I showed it to other people, even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was, so, it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. And at first I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird, and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it. I played with it. But most of all, I gave it my attention. My idea grew and grew, and so did my love for it. I built a new house, one with an open roof, where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. I like being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big, and then to think bigger. It shared its secret with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands, because it's so, it's so good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. I'm reading to you... What do you do with an idea? By Co Kobe Yamada. Yes, I'm reading you a child's story. And I hope you got it. This I found this summer, and I bought it for the mountain boy. I did that because this is such an amazing story. And not just for kids, but for adults. How many of you walk away from your ideas and your dreams, and you disregard them, or you're fearful what people will think? This is a book that needs to go in every kid's hands. I am thankful that I had parents that inspired that thought in me to, to embrace my dreams and not be afraid to have those ideas. Because folks, if I hadn't, I wouldn't be here. I love my life. I am living a dream. And so is the mountain man and the mountain boy. And I want to encourage you to pick up this book for your children and to be inspired by this book. Again, it is What Do You Do With an Idea by Kobe Yamada. And I intend to have Kobe Yamada on my radio show, if I can, because he focus on, focuses on life in a very positive nature. And I am very grateful that I have the mindset I do and that the mountain man has the mindset he does. We didn't care what other people thought. They were betting on us. They never thought we'd make this. They never thought we'd make it happen. We are here five years, and we are living our dream, and we have embraced it, and we are trying to share that with other people. I know so many people who have such great ideas, adults, and they think about them, and they talk about them, and they think about them, and they talk about them, and they talk themselves right out of it. 
Life is short, folks. Embrace your dreams. Enjoy your life. And make things happen. It doesn't have to happen at the snap of a finger. One day at a time. One day at a time. Simple, easy steps. All those changes over time. And you'll reach your goal. We happen to be embracers and we do things a little different. And we did grab the bull by the horns and we did embrace it and we made it happen very quickly. But if you're not like us and it's hard for you, embrace your dreams one day at a time. You'll never look back and you will be so happy. So many of us are searching life and living life and have an extremely huge void. Those dreams and those ideas are implanted in you. We, as you know, have God leading the way in our family. And I believe that those are implants from God, sharing amazing ideas and our, and our future with us. So don't ignore those great ideas and those dreams that you have. Make them happen. So again, yes, I did read you a child's story today, but I thought it was worthy, and I hope it did something for you. And like I said, if it didn't do it for you, get this book for your children because plant the seed. Plant the seed. Dreams are possible. Make them happen. So thanks for listening. You guys take care. And until the next video, God bless.